I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I see a video of my son doing some shit like that, bro. I ain't gonna front to you, bro. He he would get his ass whooped so bad, bro. <laughs> I can't, bro. I couldn't do that, bro. Like I I I couldn't. I couldn't. Like yeah, smack like yeah, smack the shit out of that nigga, bro. Yeah, like what are you doing? Like what 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 what? No, get that out my face. Don't Home don't do nothing like that. Back on background it's already reminding months me of ago my childhood, and he's still bro. falling as we everybody speak had because move. for some reason he just can't control his own emotions which gives the people bothering him exactly what they want more people then start messing with yeah. him and the cycle just repeats it's been about a month since i last covered him and he's already got the police call on him again he might have been arrested again as well but i haven't again. received any official confirmation on that he's also got himself into more fights and then on top of that he also reacted to the last video i made on him this is gonna sound crazy but I don't know how long he's been doing YouTube, bro. But I have never seen this in my life. I have. I mean, I haven't either. But I know for him to be at 1.5 mil and he's verified, he's been doing it a very long time. So I know for a fact he's certified. There's a reason he has an audience. It, this ain't no BS, nigga. We ain't gonna sit here. He, he want dick ride because he's talking about you, bro. Did this not? Don't try to sit here and fake like he don't got a following because you because you haven't seen him he has 1.5 million never seen this in my life chat ever can we get my youtube to 10,000 subscribers bro <laughs> i mean that's the funniest self promo segue i've heard in a while i haven't seen that guy in my life chat let's get me to 10,000 subscribers so we'll take a look at his reaction to my video later on as he definitely lies in it but also he does give us some more context into his thought process of his own actions so the first thing that happens okay. since my last video is he climbed up on top of a home depot shelf for a TikTok npc live stream Thanks to those of you guys are amazing. Right. No way. I can't believe I'm Spider Man. Right, but catch it. Right, but catch it. Alright, those roses are great. Those are small. Those small. Those. Those small. Those small. Those small. Those small. Those small. Those small. You're fucking worker. Hey, look, I want to say this. The reason he got to get kicked out, bro, mental illness. Yeah, I know. I know. Because that's not healthy at all. That is not, that is not healthy. Like, the, like it's just like, if you going to sit there, bro, <laughs> if I walk into a store with my children and I see a grown man at the top of the shelves, Talking about thanks for the roses for the 54th time today. I'm doing a 180 and we're getting back in that car. I'm not going. I'm not. No, because that's ridiculous. Those smell amazing. I know for those, it might have a bouquet. Bro, want to defend him, but like, bro, I'm fucking <laughs> yeah, like. You, you can't defend that, bro. Yeah, this I can't. Is I can't. An interesting uh, thing to have as a career. It's supposed to teach me everything, you know. Enough of those might have a bouquet. I can't believe you got me flowers. These are for you. Those, 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 those small, amazing. Thanks for the rose. Hey, you know, it'd be funny if, like, he just fell. Like, if the shelf just caved. It's just not fun. Nah, it would be fun. It would be funny. It would, it would, I'm gonna be honest. And, like, all the stuff just, like, caves in. He just falls down. Yeah, I start laughing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that should be to stop. <laughs> like, huh? You need to come down. That's like, how did you get up there? What? How did I get up here? Yeah, yeah how? I climbed up here. I'm Spider Man. Nah, no way, bro. I was gonna say, did you use a ladder? Like, fat ass ladder. Right now. 
I'm gonna do my own thing. I, I will come up. <laughs> no way. I need you to come down right now. I'm gonna do my own thing. Dude, she was probably just terrified of him falling down and hurting himself because that is just that's what i'm saying nightmare for that location of course it says this because then because then if he did fall you know what he would want to do sue them immediately and it's like you the one that got up there like no way performed approved and supervised by professionals that is just some straight bs to avoid tiktok from deleting the video because sure let's break this down he acts as an npc spider-man for a living so technically mm -hmm. he's a professional so he performed it, he approved of it, and he supervised it himself. That's all that statement means. Because let's be real, there's no way anyone from Home Depot would ever approve of this, as that yeah. is just an insurance nightmare way Exactly, of yeah. Imagine if he knocked something off the shelf and it landed on another customer. Oh yeah, Lawsuits that too. would be flying. And that location might not even be able to cover their own insurance surge after that. Even if he fell off the shelf himself, I think he could actually still have a case against yeah. that location. That's how broken our legal system can be. So going back to my original point, there is no way Home Depot actually approved of this. Now, he definitely got the police called on him for this, but I'm unsure if he was actually arrested or not. Likely, he was just trespassed. But clearly, we've gotten to the stage of, I guess, the TikTok NPC streaming, where they're now doing wilder and wilder stuff to get the attention, because a normal TikTok NPC stream is not bringing in the views as it used to. Even this social media stunt for him didn't do the numbers he used to be doing. I mean, 76,000 views on TikTok. So the dude risked jail time for 76,000 views. Oh wait, what's this? Pepper yucky. Pepper ew. Ice cream yummy. Yeah, on that note, let's move on. So after the home- I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I see a video of my son doing some shit like that, bro. I ain't gonna front to you, bro. He he would get his ass whooped so bad, bro. <laughs> I can't, bro. I couldn't do that, bro. Like I I I couldn't. I couldn't. Like yeah, smack like yeah, smack the shit out of that nigga, bro. Yeah, like what are you doing? Like what 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 what? No, get that out my face. Don't Home don't Depot do clip, like He was that. back onto his usual streams you a grown on the man. street when some other dude showed up in a spirit Halloween Spider-Man suit. I guess just ready to stream snipe him and ruin his night. Because again, I mean, this guy okay. has curated an audience base that just loves to mess with him. I mean, a spider. What the f are you waiting for, bro? Because Gwen's my favorite snow bunny. Thanks for the heart. I know I have a love for Gwen because she's my favorite snow bunny. Thank you, bro. Thank you, man. Thank you. First, roses, roses, roses for Gwen. Bro, why you pushing me, bro? Why you pushing me? Bro, calm down, bro. This would be so infuriating if, if I had to stand on the street. Why you getting mad at me? To make money every single day live and then consistently have people coming in and interfering. That's a nightmare. He said it's a galaxy. It's a galaxy. Thanks for the galaxy. Cutting up bills. Do I make it back to my own universe? Yes, because Gwen's in my universe because she's my favorite snow bunny. She's my favorite snow bunny. She's my favorite snow bunny. Well, you mind? You mind watching out, bro? I got. I gotta get it. You mind watching out, bro? You, you being annoying at this. Oh, he's good at that because he went down and then now he's on the left side of the fucking screen. Yeah, he really elite with this shit too. <laughs> I gotta jump in the plane, bro. He said I gotta there's, jump in the plane. There's frame. definitely a part two. Bro, it's just so funny. So oh, shit. Bro, it's just a snow bunny. It's just a snow bunny joke, bro. It's just a snow bunny joke. Why are you taking the map, bro? Keep fucking me, bro. Keep fucking Bro, Miles likes shit. Bro, bro, do, do your shit, bro. Let me do my shit in peace, bro. Let me do my nerdy shit in peace, bro. I already done told y'all a, a, a thousand times, bro. I don't know why you know. You want clout so bad bro no god damn funny bro damn yeah i'm about to bro ain't no party like a diddy party what they got going on in the chat wild out on this bro i'm about to wild out on this bro <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to wild out on this chat, chat the screen, bro. 
I mean, that guy is that just so incredibly hey, unfunny. Hey, a random intermission, but I gotta go back to my. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta find it, bro. I miss, I missed the TikTok. <laughs> Please, bro. I missed one. Wait, where is it, bro? Where is Umar? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Cause that doesn't make me think of Umar. This conscious shit by the fucking throat. And don't worry, when I'm done talking about the parent association, I'm gonna deal with Papa Smurf. I'm gonna deal with that little dirty nigga. I heard you albino. I'm gonna handle your ass tonight, pussy. You ain't getting away with that shit. You should have never came for me, nigga. I never fuck with your little dirty broke ass nigga. <laughs> still living in your fucking mama house. What type of grown ass nigga going on 50 still living in his mama house, nigga? Look at my face when you talking to me. This ain't no WWF, nigga. Who the fuck is you the conscious Why the fuck is this nigga so mad? Papa Smurf? Motherfucker, you look like Tattoo from Fantasy Island with your stupid ass. Who the fuck is you? Randy, Macho Man, Seti Savage? You's a fucking nut, nigga. You's a fucking nut. What platform you got? What plat- <laughs> He too upset, man. What platform you got? What platform you got? It's like- But because of the way Miles or NPC Spider-Man is reacting, it's making it entertaining for his viewers. But which one you mean? Which one's the real Miles? You know what's crazy? And this dude right here, he ain't even disrespect him or nothing. Like, now that I'm realizing, bro, Miles over here crashing out, and I'm like, he just calling you out on what you did. He calling you out on what you doing, and then he didn't even disrespect you from what I'm seeing right now. Morales, bro. That's obviously not a Miles Morales suit, bro. That's got to be racist, bro. No, he said That's... he was earlier. I'm Black Peter. You did bro. not say that. You did not say that. I was like 20 minutes earlier. But hey, on the positive side, he didn't fight him from what we saw, so he might be maturing a bit. But this also just kind of shows the TikTok NPC niche is really drying up. The top TikTok NPC creators, they seem to have already have moved on, as you haven't seen Pinky Doll do these streams for a while now. Meanwhile, this guy is still doing it, and he's unfortunately positioned himself to where people find it funny to mess with him, as he has mm -hmm. proven over and over again that he will give them the reaction they want. And it seems like he's in denial that his TikTok NPC career is drying up, and this could be why he's starting to act up more and more recently. Like, just a few yeah, bro, I'm not gonna lie. 2023 was the year for that shit, for real. Like, that you should have left that shit there, bro. I'm I'm gonna be honest. Or was that early this year? Was that early 24? It was either early 2024 or late 23. And it was between that. That's all I remember. But I just know this shit about old as hell. Like, there was another clip going viral of him fighting people at Fousey Tubes event. I'm unsure of the details what? of that event, though, because he was wearing boxing gloves. So it oh. could have been planned, but it seemed very um, non-official, to put it lightly, as it was just like a crowd around him and some other dude, and they had boxing gloves on. So uh, I'm unsure how like Fousey Tube cleared that. Either way, I can't really show fight clips on YouTube regardless, but he is branching into other avenues of content as he's now doing some reaction streaming, which is why we have his reaction to my last video on him. This is the Spider-Man TikTok NBC stream by name Leaks World, and it's safe to say he's had a rough couple of months as he ended up getting arrested. Damn. So how do we end up getting here? Well, if we jump back a little bit over a year ago, the TikTok NBC trend was- His name is Atozi. I really hope this guy does not roast me, bro. Like, I really hope this guy does not- Dude, we just talked about your actions. Five, six, bro, can we chat? 1.56 million, bro. Can we please? Chat, 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 chat. What? This is gonna sound crazy, but I don't know how long he's been doing YouTube, bro, but I have never seen this in my life. <laughs> I have never seen this in my life, chat, ever. Why is he spazzing? Get my YouTube to 10,000 subscribers, bro. <laughs> you have this up? Now is the time, bro. What? Now is the time. Let's, like, like the fact that I can't go outside without somebody, like, coming up to me, bro, and somebody being like, yo, 
You're the one dude from TikTok, right? We'll like, even if they don't back, know man. my name. You're the one guy from TikTok, right? Like, bro. Can we Who cares? Because that's not even a meaningful metric. I know, check back. I'm gonna do my own thing. The nah, I'm gonna do my own thing was a great era, bro. That was a funny era for me. Just like, really <laughs> disobeying the, the authority. Bro. The law. That was that was a good era. Disobeying the law was a good era. That's the era you remember. And it's like, yeah, that was a golden era. Just that time where I just really didn't care. And, you know, I could have got arrested even more. Or, you know, could have, whatever, got charged with stuff. Or, you, you, you know making life making people's lives more difficult than they need to be yes that was a golden era for me that was it right there right there when i was doing all that that was golden it's like <laughs> okay <laughs> it was probably a fake idea but still when you get an amazing break like that why do you just completely self-destruct and ruin it all like there, there's no upside of doing this well then he starts to lose his fans due to his did it for the TikTok, bro like weird behavior like here I love how he's just like so nonchalant about that. I fled the police. It's like, so you started to get traction and then you're just like selling yourself for We're what? the TikTok bro. We have completely different risk to reward judgment. Upside, funny TikTok. Downside, fleeing from the police can get pretty ugly pretty quickly. That's so really not bad. worth it. Oh man. Dad, you guys. And then he just ended if you guys did the stream, which makes it kind of seem more real. I I'm not sure if it's real or fake, but it came across as real. So then my next question. Chat, if you guys don't know, that was a skit. If you guys still don't know, oh, f it up, bro. I f it up. Listen, bro. Start watching my explanations. You need to really start watching my explanations, bro. I explained over and over and over and over again bro and people still don't watch my explanation bro dude i didn't even know you had a youtube channel until curse made a video mentioning that you reacted to my video on that youtube channel so um yeah i feel like most of the views from this video came from curse's video as well actually there's a combination of me and curse in this comments here didn't know about leaks world until atozi made a video about him i wonder if i step in a room and he steps in the store who will get noticed first I don't know. Like, I, I mean, TikTok is really popular. So I would say Miles probably would solely because everyone has TikTok and everyone will see videos, even if they're not necessarily that type of like viewer. Like if I'm not looking for NPC content on TikTok, you're still like, like there's a chance you can just like be scrolling and it'll just come up on your feed because that's just how TikTok is. But like YouTube is different. You kind of you attract the audience that your content is like providing it to. But like TikTok is kind of just like whoever fucks with it, it will, you know, attach themselves to it and then keep, you know, coming back. But like I, I don't know cares about this metric dude yeah uh you, you're trying to i think the main thing is just that the fact that he has a million plus subs and he's like never heard of him but he's like oh he has a million but i can't even get 10k i think he's just like upset i don't know like the thing I don't understand about so many people in modern society is the need for fame. I don't see the appeal in it. Because if you look at actual famous people, not internet nobodies like myself and this guy, it just seems like doing normal things becomes somewhat miserable. I wanna talk about laughably stupid stuff that happens on the internet for a career, but I also wanna feel as normal as possible. So yeah. I'm actually kind of in this perfect sweet spot right now. I can afford to provide for my family, yeah and you can still enjoy your life how you want to yeah yeah you blessings bro yes yes that's all that is doing what i love to do 
and I still feel normal. Now, don't get me wrong, if you see me in public, feel free to say hi. I have so many great interactions with you guys. Very few are actually negative. It doesn't happen often. I feel like the last time something negative happened was a couple months ago. I was at a gas station. There was a gas station employee who was like, mm -hmm. you look like you have terrible opinions online. And that is literally the last negative interaction I've had. And I think the only thing I said to him was, that adds up. Have a wonderful day. Dude left me feeling like I was doing some sort of customer support for a large company with that customer <laughs> is always right mentality. And also, I mean, that's not even that negative. That's not even that bad compared to the stuff that yeah. this guy has to deal with of people running up to him in person. Not bro having 5K and calling Atosia a nobody. Bro, both me and him are nobodies. What did he reply to that? I wonder if- Hey, you see what's crazy? He's all humble and everything, bro. Mega, thank you for the follow, now bro. Following. Thank you for the follow, bro. But you see how, like, this dude's, like, humble. He's humble. He's more chill. He's calm. He don't got to, like, in his in and in Miles is just, like, spazzing out, bro. It's like... Door and he steps into a store. Who will get noticed first? Never mind. I already know. Dude, why are you engaging with people for hating on you? You're and just he's trying exactly to give want. Miles tips on how to on be streams. a better creator. Yeah. Towards <laughs> yeah, I do. Like, I do. I do lose a lot of that, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah he's, the screen, bro. Tap 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 the screen. Tap the screen, bro. Tap the screen. Tap the screen, bro. But it's obviously like me trolling. Tap the screen, bro. Tap the screen, bro. Tap the screen, bro. Tap the screen. Stop sending. That is not obvious that he's trolling. It's happened a couple times. It seems like the TikTok NPC genre is slowly drying up. Seems like he's very serious in these videos. Person to get it right, chat. He's the first YouTuber to get this. Right. 11, I just didn't here. read right off 11, the viral 000. tweets about it. You guys are not tapping the screen. Okay. But yeah, the viral Make tweets sure about the 11, these clips were here. saying that he There's was 11, screaming about donations, here, okay? but in reality, it's likes because screen, he okay? wants the, the more screen. likes you get on okay, your TikTok stream, the higher it kind of it ranks in their algorithm. If you have to do this to get engagement on your content, it might be a sign to start switching things up. But unfortunately, that point still stands. Does he react to that? Yeah. If if you have to sit there and feel like you have to beg people to like multi like keep liking your video and they don't just do it automatically because they actually enjoy it and they actually want to, then there's a problem. They, For him, they, this kind of behavior like, also attracted people to start messing. Oh shit, no, you just kinda of internalized that. Bro, he's the first YouTuber. Even though even though, bro, um it's obviously like entertainment at the end of the day he's the first guy who didn't say it was for gifts bro i gotta give it up give it up to yeah bro when i follow if i told you to but i was sure so you did yeah literally like that just like if you want to you can if you don't want to it ain't uh, ain't up to me bro i <laughs> i'm just here i'm just here like atozi, atozi. give it up to him bro yeah, a to Z, A to Z. Either or, it was supposed to be A to Z. When I made the name back when I was like nine years old, it was supposed to be A to Z, but A to Z or A T O Z that was taken on World of Warcraft. Oh, so A to Z. Oh, wait, wait. I added a Y on the end, and then everyone just started calling me a Tozy. And I was like, all right, that, that's fine as well. And I guess that's what happens when I made my name when I was nine years old, and I'm now 27. A lot of people think they're owed something in, is the issue. Yeah, yeah. They think they just deserve it because they're just doing something like minuscule. It's like, bro, everything in this life, anything you do in life, nothing's deserved, bro. I want you to know. That's like the easiest thing you can know, bro nothing's deserved you just because you're doing great or you're a good person you still yeah you got to work for it yeah you have to work for it everything is you you deserve nothing literally i'm still just been using that online name and you could tell this dude's humble because he he hasn't said anything about his sub subscriber count about how many people is watching him how many views he's getting he's he's been calm this whole time Forever. so yeah here we are both are acceptable but again my point still stands he shouldn't be raging at his viewers to like his stream because it does not come across as trolling as he said it was here Two. Bro, this is not fair bro <laughs> Yeah, I paused it there for obvious reasons, but the police ended up getting involved pretty quickly, and he ends up having to be wrestled to the ground. Then this is not fair, bro. What? Saying that I attacked somebody is actually wild. That's actually a wild, Atazi. But I just watched you full sprint towards the man. 
in the past five seconds. Hold on, wait. Then this is not. No, 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 no. We can go back. We can go back. We can go back. Yeah, I paused. No, that's definitely you. I, I, I just watched you like fully sprint towards a grown man. Was it there for obvious reasons? Everything is on video. So he's denying something that's on video. According to this video, he's the one instigating and getting physical first here. Unless he there's some other evidence that that's not true. So I don't know what he's talking about here, but overall, the no, guy doesn't didn't. seem like a super villain, just not the best at controlling his own temper. And unfortunately, that's exactly what the people who antagonize him want. But I mean, hey, at least he's trying other stuff like streaming in this way instead of actually being out there on the street, getting harassed by people for a living. Mm -hmm. But since he did say using that clip was not fair i am interested in the whole context around this fight but yeah, all right that's man all we have if to you cover enjoyed that today. video make sure to check out another video like that you know just click it click it right here you don't you don't got a sub or nothing bro i'm making it easy just just click the video it's on your screen already might as well go ahead click it